Hello everyone, welcome to part 103 of advanced e-com series in Laravel 8. Uh, so in this video, uh, we are go going to continue working on the login register process. Okay. Uh, so in this video, uh, we are going to work on the register mail. Okay. In last video, we have seen that we have able to send the register SMS. I have told you that how to send the register SMS with the third party SMS API. And in this video, we are going to send the register email. Okay. With the gmail smtp server okay so we are going to send the email offline first of all and after that we are going to send the online in next video we will uh, make the website online and we'll uh, send the email online as well okay and in this video we are going to send the register mail offline okay so there are some kind of settings we need to do uh, some google settings we uh, will use the uh, smtp.gmail.com that is the free see it is not like the sms packet that you need to purchase it is free of cost so there is no issue uh, anyone can use okay so uh, let's start first of all i will open the google.com you can log into your gmail account i think that everyone must uh, having the gmail account okay you can log into your gmail account and after login uh, you can uh, go there manage your gmail account and here you can go to security okay so in security you can see here uh, that you need to enable two-step verification okay if it is off then you need to enable this one you need to take few steps okay whatever steps it will uh, see you need to click here if it is uh, not uh, on then you need to click here and you need to follow some of these steps okay so uh, you need to follow you need to click here if it is off here you need to click here it will ask your gmail password again you need to fill the password and you need to follow some of the steps some of the easy steps you need to follow to complete this two-step verification okay so that you can complete and then on will come i am not going to do because it will ask the mobile number and uh, and it's already on uh, so you can do this one uh, from your end and if you will find any trouble you can surely ask me okay so after that you need to generate the app password as well so two things you need to do two step verification and after that you need to enable the app password as well so this one i am going to do for you and this one you just you need to log into your account okay you need to give the correct password here okay so in the case of two-step verification also it will ask you and here also it will ask you to log in okay so app password you can generate and that you will generate for your email here you need to select the mail and here you need to select the device L like if you are on windows uh, if you are using some windows like windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 okay then you need to select the windows computer and if you are using the mac right now i'm using the mac so i'm going to select the mac okay so uh, see if there is any other then you will select that one okay so i'm going to select the mac and we'll generate the app password and here is the app password that we require to send the email from the gmail smtp server okay so i am going to use this uh, app password uh, so some kind of setting i require so i will open now dot env file and here i will do the rest of the settings and here see this is the code that we are going to update okay so smtp is fine and this one we are going to update uh, smtp.gmail.com and mail port we are going to update to 587 and after that username see username is uh, whatever uh, email we are using we are using i'm using my email gmail email amit php programmer at the rate of gmail.com and password see password we have just generated and this is the password i will copy this one app password and i will use it here okay so you need to generate of your own don't use my username and password okay this one you need to generate of your own i am going to delete this password after this one okay so uh, you have to generate of your own here your email your gmail id will come and here you need to generate your uh, password of your own like i have told you okay so after that in encryption you need to add tls okay so if mail from address this one also you can uh add this one you can make one company email okay or you can uh, show here some other address like your website name in something uh, 
uh, ecommerce.com then you can uh, add here info at the rate of ecommerce.com then mail from address will be this one uh, but you can also use your uh, same uh, gmail.com uh, uh, that you have used uh, for app pass for generating app pass pass password because we are using gmail smtp so you need to have the gmail username okay otherwise you can't do anything okay so uh, mail from name means uh, see these two things like from email and from address means from name okay what name uh, will be there in your email from email so that uh, you can uh, scroll up and see you need to replace the laravel here and i am going to make it like e-commerce uh, website okay so i am going to do see don't make space in in between otherwise it will not work see it will come in single line okay so you need to do like this so these are the settings you need to do only env file you need to update after that we will write the laravel code of sending the email okay i am going to open uh, the users controller and here i am going to update the register user okay so see earlier code i have already disabled send register sms code i have disabled because i have i don't have any package right now and if you have package then you can surely use this and i am now going to add here send register email okay so in this one first of all i will uh, i will check the user mail uh, see user mail we will get from dollar data email see here uh, we are getting name mobile and email okay so after that uh, the uh, i will create one variable like messy data here i am going to uh, add one array here okay i can make the array uh, like this one uh, okay like this one like uh, name in name i can add dollar data name like this okay so i am going to uh, use other as well like uh, okay so here i am going to use mobile mobile and finally we will use the email so these three things we are going to send to the email that we are getting from the register form these three things okay so now we will pass to email with the help of messy data variable and we have passed all these to the messy data array okay so uh, after that uh, i'm going to add the mail function here mail send so this is the mail function okay so inside this first of all i will uh, use the uh, blade file i am going to create register blade file uh, for uh, uh, for writing the html content of the email okay that i will do shortly after that i will pass the messy data here okay so i am going to add the function like this dollar message and here use dollar email okay so like this and here i am going to add dollar message uh, then email will come here dollar email the, this is the syntax of uh, sending email to the user and after that subject we will add the subject here like registration or welcome to e-commerce whatever your website name welcome to e-commerce website okay like this so now uh, this is done now we need to uh, create one registered or blade or php file we need to uh, create the folder as well resources views and inside views uh, we will create one folder of emails okay we will create one folder of emails and inside emails i am going to create one blade file 
I will do like this in uh, Mac I need to do like this otherwise you know how to create the file here I will create like the touch I will uh, make the name like uh, register.plate.php file this one and I am going to open the file here register.plate.php file sorry not this one register.plate.php this is the file and here I am going to write the HTML content of the email okay so this is the template under body I'm going to add the table okay so the table I will add the tr okay so under tr I'm going to add the td okay so here I'm going to add dear whatever dollar name will come up here okay so uh, we are going to write like this and after that uh, here uh, in next line here again, then td here your welcome to e-commerce website with whatever your website name your account details are as below okay so here i am going to add again here td okay so now here once again here, here we can uh, write name dollar name okay you can give space if you want okay like this and after that we can close this one okay so we need to write this one again and again two three four times okay first name after that mobile after that email see password we can't show we never know the user password so password we are going to show uh, like uh, stars after that as chosen by you okay so after that we can finish it up uh, we will write something like uh, thanks and regards whatever you want to write okay it's your wish okay uh, you need not to follow the same one uh, just I am showing you the example and the content wording uh, all belongs to you okay you can write all better one this is just the simple e-commerce website okay so that all done now we can try this one this is the email that we will send to the user okay so now uh, you can uh, one more thing we need to add the header statement as well we forgot for this one we will write illuminate under sport uh, under after that uh, packets okay packets and finally mail okay so this one we have added now we can try okay all seems to be done now we can try restring so let's see uh, so I will register Amit Gupta mobile number I will add some dummy mobile number email ID I'm going to add like uh, Amit uh, 1000 at the top yopmail.com see email already exists I am going to make it uh, 1200 let's see 1200 is there 56 okay so now I will register. Let's see. Create your account. 
and i hope that no error will come so it has been created you have we have come to my account now i will open the uop mail see i am using the uop mail because uop mail provides us the free service here you can check your account straight away like this one i am with 1200 and you can see the email has come up okay you can check dear amin gupta welcome to e-commerce website you your account details are as below name mobile email password okay so everything is coming fine you can add more spacing to it uh, see here we have forgot after password also you can add the spacing and uh, rest everything seems to be fine see you can uh, make it better okay with, uh, with you can add image you can add border to the table and uh, all the means design changes you can do to your email okay uh, that you can do from your end but the thing is that we able to send the email and we are sending the email offline okay you no need to make it online you can check offline of your own and whenever your email look good then you can make it online as well okay so i hope that this is clear to you uh, you can make such kind of email and you can use this uopmail.com okay uopmail uh, provides uh, us uh, that uh, free service like you can open any account here okay you can just uh, need to give any uopmail with extension will be or uopmail.com and you can give any uopmail like uh, uh, see no need to create the uh, no need to register the email in uopmail you can directly open okay like i will uh, now use some other amit gupta mobile 9823456678 and after that i can use like amit 3000 at the rate of uofmail.com and see no need to register this email uh, see this one already exists i will use amit 3500 uh, and password 123456 see now this one if you will open the amit 3 for 3500 it will open there see email will be sent to that email id okay so it assume that all the uofmail ids are already created you just uh, need to send there i will use now the amit 3500 here check for new mails and here you can see the email has come up okay dear amit gupta welcome to and here also you can see the e-commerce website is coming okay that we have added there the e-commerce website we have added at the top and this is the from uh, okay from name and address is the amit php program at of gmail.com okay so dear amit gupta everything is coming fine okay so uh you can you have seen that earlier one is also working now the space is also there so everything seems to be working fine then the earlier one has also working so you can try this one at your end and if you will face any issue you can surely contact me okay you can uh, send all emails offline like this by doing these uh, settings okay at your end okay so that's all for now have a nice time. Goodbye.